Hi guys, it's Amber back here on the channel. Um, so I wanted to give you guys a July update on the garden. A lot has changed and a lot has grown, so I really wanted to keep you guys filled in. Um, I am pregnant, so doing these videos sometimes catches me off guard. I don't get a lot of opportunity to do that um, as I'm trying to keep up with my two children currently. So um, hopefully I can give you some um, options for pests. Um, prevention as well as some just good tips uh, that I've been using um, whether it's companion planting or just some kind of natural remedies um, I do try to do all organic gardening um, whether it's with my pest prevention or with my um, you know composting or whatnot so um, I'll give you a few tips as we go through the garden um, and hopefully it's helpful I'll talk to you guys soon as you guys can see um, we currently have uh, tomato trellises my husband and my brother-in-law built for me um, so I'll go through some of that too just kind of do an overview this is our a-frame trellis and um, I have a lot growing on here so right here we've got some cucumber and just for companion planting for uh, better flavor and pest prevention I'm I have summer radishes in in between there and um, but that's my first time growing summer radishes. Usually radishes do better in the fall and in the spring. So summer radishes there. Um, I have some acorn squash. And I also have marigolds in between each type of plant. So you'll see some marigolds in between each type of plant. Again, that's for pest prevention. Um, and at the very end there, I have some zucchini squash. So that's that. Here are my strawberries. I have three types. Of strawberries in here um, so hopefully we get a good crop I just planted some Brussels sprouts in this region right here I've got eight Brussels sprouts plants that are coming in so that'll be a fall, fall crop for me another marigold bush and then I have uh, actually ten plants of cauliflower right in there so then if we come over here to the cold frame these are the Brussels sprout plants and I did have some cabbage moth in there so I did a red pepper spray in there on the leaves and I haven't had as many um, caterpillars sorry I was looking at all the different bees going around here that's awesome um, so then my onions are doing really good too and my carrots and some turnips I already pulled some turnips for a couple meals that we've had so I'm just letting them grow as much as I can and then here I have some lettuce and some spinach that I'm letting seed so that'll be good um, here I've got some acorn squash <clears throat> I've got pumpkins these are jack-o-lantern pumpkins and I have some bunching onions um, or green onions these will be for green onions um, I just planted some chives here, so I have a few that popped up. I do have some more basil coming in, and then I have some peppers. Now, um, again, just for companion planting, basil next to the peppers or in intermixed with the peppers does really well, too. Um, I did plant our asparagus seed, but we won't look for those for a couple years. So I have two more types of carrots here. I have Danvers and Scarlet Nates. And then here I have more yellow onions. So I do have a patch over there where I'll be right next to the Danver carrots. Um, I'll be doing some red onion. And then here I just planted um, three different types of lettuce. So I have regular butter lettuce right there. I have some romaine. And then I have some spinach right here. So those are fun. And if you kind of noticed, um, I have like CDs and things around the garden. Um, we have deer in our area, and the deer do not like reflective surfaces. Um, I also have some pinwheels and some uh, smaller pinwheels going around to the perimeter, just to kind of keep those guys away. I've also heard <laughs> that the um, another good way to do that is to tie pie plates together so they make a lot of noise in the wind. So also coming here to my tomatoes, you notice I have the string here. So 
So this is our Florida weave. If you can see the string, how it goes all the way throughout. Um, that's our Florida weave. So that will give us earlier fruit. And hopefully larger fruit too. So these guys are doing good. See, I've already got some flowering going. And again over here on the cucumber, um, for the trellising, I just kind of helped uh, the cucumber weave itself through a little at the beginning and it kind of just did it all by itself from there. So that's pretty cool to watch. And we do have some strawberries already coming in. We joke that um, because this is a first year crop that I don't have too many coming in. This is our jewel type right here, but they are so sweet. So this is another update on the garden. Another um, remedy, if you guys are um, aware of deer in your area, what I have done um, in my bell peppers and things, um, and especially my tomatoes too, I've just crushed up eggshells. Um, the deer don't like the smell of eggshell, and I actually have a whole other batch I'm gonna be putting down this weekend. Um, but the deer don't like the smell of eggshells. And the other thing that I've been doing too, is around the perimeter of our fence, I sprayed one part red hot to two parts water and sprayed that around. That got rid of a bunch of groundhogs and. Um, I haven't seen anything else roaming around, so hopefully that helps.